Hi guys, welcome. This is uh, one of the videos that goes into what do you do after installing Arpelex. Soon enough you'll get the new version of uh, 2022 from January. And in this case, this is Arclix XL, everything is up to date. So what do you do after an installation? Well, have a look around. Arclix D, uh, sorry, Arclix.com is a better website. So navigate to the diversity where you have. It's split into ideas and the concepts. Each thing has its, its, its own purpose. And here we have now what, right? Must read now what, those are the things you need to have a look at. So the idea is as follows. I urge you to learn about GitHub, about Git in general, not specifically GitHub, right? So could, could be GitLab, could be GitBucket, could be anything. No and no, no password for me. And then I type my name. So make an account, log in, and then you have a GitHub. And you can make GitHubs for free, 120 already, my God. And all you need to do is after a clean install, I get my scripts in, I get my .config in, I get my settings of Alacrity in, I get my settings of I don't know what in, right? Keep them safe online. And when needed, you go here and say, okay, Let's go ahead and I have a system in the sense that I have a order and in the data folder there is my personal stuff and in here I'm going to go to git clone my, my code, right? Done. And then it's all up to you to start learning about scripting. All it needs to do, let's visit this again, right mouse click, make executable. So that's the way to ensure that it's executable, run as a program. And all it needs is a few lines up here, bin bash and all that. Well, this is the only line it needs actually. And all the rest of this is rubbish and information. What I want to have, S, what I want to have is an installation. No confirm, I'm not gonna say yes, yes, yes every time. And if it's already there, just skip it, skip it. It's already there, right? Need it. If it's needed, then you install it. And it's a lot of extra software that's not on the system. Well, I see already, and that's why we're here, update things. So this is here to ensure that I have more software, but I'm gonna make another script that says less software. So both things are, are possible and it's entirely up to you to figure out what do you need, what do you want, I want GIMP, I don't want GIMP, I want Inkscape, I don't want Inkscape, right? All these things. But it's um, up to you to decide what you want and make a little script like this and just copy paste mine and start editing and voila, you've got yourself a script. On the website you'll find here as well how to work with GitHub. But I think that's located in Arclix D. How to start with save your scripts and configs to GitHub. That's all explained how to how easy it is to just push. That's the technical term, pull and push to the internet and from the internet. What I'd like to add in this list, 100, 200, 300, is 400. Control C, Control V. That's it doesn't take too much work 400 and instead of install it's gonna be remove remove software version 1 will be fine voila so now I have a 400 remove software what I'm gonna do is change a few things this is all add 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 well, delete this is all add hub delete well, here we start removing. You see, we remove and any dependency S, TLP no confirm. Remove Broadcom WL DKMS. Those are things that we will include in the new ISO of January, but I don't have a Broadcom. I, it's there for other people who have Broadcom, Ethernet, Wi Fi, uh, 
hardware, right? I don't have it, so I want to get rid of it after installation. I say go and delete this. Now, this is already taken care of in the number 100, right? So, what is else? What's more that I can delete? There is one R, etc. R8 and a number, I think. Let's have a look. R8. Let's see. That's the one. 381. It's a kernel module for Realtek. Control T. NC minus B. Do I have one? I have an Intel Ethernet. So I don't have Realtek. Okay. Buy. Right? Simple. Buy. So you go here. We're going to remove R8. 168 DKM as that will be added and uh, that's new I mean it wasn't before and the Broadcom WM uh, DKMS as well just to ensure that if people are switching from Linux to Linux LTS to Zen to Hardened those are four Linux kernels it will still work because of the DKMS so this one has to go for me on my hardware I don't need it there was still another one. Maybe we can see what it was. Pseudo Pac-Man, ah, NVIDIA and Broadcom. Those the, it, we're, were there already. Those guys need to go. System CTL. Sorry. Make in CPO minus P. I believe they come in here when we run it. And they don't. Voila. You'll see when you update things, sometimes you see these names pop up and then you know, ah oh, yeah, true, we can remove those guys. So NVIDIA is not installed in the install installer. You say whether you want to have remove anything NVIDIA-like. No, don't have anything NVIDIA-like, only NVMe. So that's gone already because we chose not to install NVIDIA, we're an open source. But what can we remove more? We put drivers on here for all the hardware out there. So that means that we can remove probably XF86 video something. And these are the guys. These are the guys I can remove. Control Shift C. Voila. Enter, delete, delete, delete. Enter, 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 and enter. So these guys, now watch what I do. Take a look at your keyboard. I'm pressing Shift on the left side, just above Control, Shift. It's pressed in. Take my mouse, I navigate to the X here. Right mouse click, only works on Sublime Text. I love Sublime Text. So, back then, minus S, no, R, S. We remove all these guys and any of the dependencies. Save, voila. So, if I run all these, and to be clear, this guy can be removed. Let's put all the removal things in one file. Is that smart, Eric? I have machines with NVIDIA. And when I remove all these, it will still work. So all my PCs that I have, have no issue with that. So I'm gonna remove this, save. I'm gonna copy paste it here. So number 400, here we remove applications, we do not want, I'm going to disable TLP service for laptops, don't have laptops, I have mostly desktops, so that's, it's, it's out. And here we have another good tip, so X, oops, not X, but V of course, and again a V. Let's take the space with it, Control C, 
control V, control V, control V, control V, control V, control V, control V. That's a little bit too much. Voila. Save again. So I'm telling it to remove everything and don't ask me yes, no, yes, no, no confirm. Go ahead. Need it does not make sense in removing it. It's only for installing. Core software removed. And uh, what's core about it? Nothing. So software removed. Save. Voila, we've made a script to make any, let's face it, any Linux distribution can benefit from a few removals. You install a Linux system and then you think, oh my God, why is this here? Why is this here? Because I don't have that hardware. But they're all created for as many, yeah, motherboards and then pieces of the hardware out there. So now we can test it out. Number 400, removing everything. So let's go over one by one. Maybe we should open it next to each other. So I'm telling him to stop using TLP. So disable and then remove. Remove, minus and so on. Broadcom, it's out. And then we see DKMS for real tag there. It's out. And here you see these references removed. AMD GPU, it's out. It's for AMD. We don't have AMD. FBDEF is out. Open Chrome is out. VMware is out. ATI is out. So AMD as well. Nouveau, which is the open source in NVIDIA, out. Don't have NVIDIA, right? Visa. And everything is out. Et voilà. That's another script I'll put online. And uh, the rest, yeah, I would suggest there are already so many videos about these scripts, about Nemesis, that's the name. So if you go to the YouTube channel of um, Arconix and you type in Nemesis, that's the name up here, Nemesis. Yeah, Star Trek fan, right? One of the films. And um, there you'll find all the hardware. Now this is already on our ISO. So, well, I can leave it as well it will just skip it it will just skip it and maybe we should have a look at that as well make the video a bit longer again and never can seem to be able to stop talking teacher right well ah, what's going on i'm going to whoop, install flame shot kit installed on Spotify, I want my music. I will not impose it on you guys, right? But I want my music. Control Alt S needs to launch Spotify. That's launched. What else? Discord was already there. So here you see Discord skipping, no Mac skipping. Those are these guys. Then in Spotify, then it's Telegram. Telegram was there already. So Telegram is skipping. In sync, ah, uh, that's the paid. Google Drive Syncer, I use it all the time, for years already, stable as heck, and it works. Boom. Needed. Vivaldi FMPEG Codex, Vivaldi Widefind, so Netflix and YouTube Codex, and Vivaldi itself. Chromium, up to date, up to date. You see, we go through the list. Brave Bin, Melt is skipped, I guess. Brave Bin is here. Brave Bin is here. Where's Brave Bin? Ah, here. Uh, uh, uh. I think we can. Yep, yeah, we can improve this. So it gets it, but it's Brave Bin actually. So it, there is a link somewhere on Arch Links that says Brave equals Brave Bin, and we've got it. But Brave Bin is the correct term. VLC done, Sublime Text done, Melt done, Git Ahead bit done, Platinum Searcher is done. WPS Office is the first one, then we're here. Installed, long list, TTF WPS Office, then Office MIME is there. Now we're here, simple screen recorder, was already there, otherwise I can't record. Arcanic Candy Beauty Git is skipped. 
up to date IU team is there now it's a very dark theme our darkest well, <laughs> even darker and here we are skipping all these things you see I can just keep them and if we decide at some point in time to remove it from the ISO again yeah then they will be installed so I tend to try to keep it clean so I know what goes on and goes off and PV not that I recall what was PV again let's have a look terminal base for monitoring the progress of data through a pipeline why did I install that terminal base for monitoring the progress of type through a pipeline there was a reason for it the question is what was it again PV oh, if I remember I'll put it under in YouTube voila so you go on you can drag these things now I'm gonna make sure all the the um, uh, first virtual box here that's going to be installed in the AOR are lots of interesting things a few for instance somebody told me today uh, how simple is it to install VMware that's it that's how we install I install VMware and that's the most important thing if you forget to start and enable these VMware VMware network service you've got no internet ha. that's a problem so you need to know all these things and what you do once you know you write it down so you can forget it and you run the scripts and every single time it will work again unless they change something right and then the side the extra icons and so on and so on now we have a 400 to remove things so I'll push this to the internet and maybe this gives you some ideas for the ISO that's coming to you let's do this let's let's finally get to know this um, github thing it's not that difficult it's a few files you need to learn and uh, to run and that's it and you see the files that we use git and setup the setup it setup is first obviously and then you push 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 well they run this git thing and check out the code and then you learn more about git this is setup and this is git all right well let me quickly include this also that these days github uses main as word not master anymore so if you make one today it's gonna be main and not master just so you know can't make that mistake then all right cheers